Hey everyone! Welcome to another Stonehearth Desktop Tuesday! So, how many of you have ever completely walled off your town and then had a bunch of monsters spawn outside? Or asked your hearthlings to pick up loot that is for some reason now inaccessible? I bet that eventually you saw some massive game slowdowns and stuttering. This is because each moving entity, hearthling, monster, etc. in the game has some pathfinder code associated with it. When an entity has a goal, like running in to investigate your town or challenge your knights or take all your stuff, that pathfinder code searches the world for a way in. The larger and more complex the world is, the more time this search takes up on your CPU because it has to check all the possibilities before it can assure itself that there's no way to get there right now. In this example, these hearthlings cannot get onto this plateau. If I put a log on it, all of them try to restock it. You can see their pathfinders consuming CPU time in the performance bar in the lower right corner of the game. Every time I add a log, all the pathfinders run again, even though the new log is right beside the old log that they should already know that they can't get to. Worse yet, once the pathfinders have exhausted their search, your CPU goes back to normal, but only for a little while. The world of Stonehearth is deformable. Adding a ladder or mining a block of terrain might, in fact, suddenly create a path between two inaccessible regions. This means that we have the pathfinders on entities wait for changes to the terrain and then all run again. If we didn't do this, there'd be a chance that a path does open up, but you would just see your hearthling stand around and do nothing. But this also means that in Alpha 20, if you have a bunch of outstanding pathfinders waiting for a path to get to an inaccessible log, and you build a large building or minor region, even if those things are nowhere near that log, those pathfinders run over and over and over again every single time the terrain changes, bringing your game to its knees. In Alpha 21, Chris has written a new topology service to solve this exact issue. As the pathfinders run, he calculates which regions are accessible to which other regions. Each of these regions is then assigned a color. In the example here, this cliff area would be calculated as an inaccessible region to all the hearthlings who have embarked on this plane down here. When any subsequent pathfinder runs, it checks to see if the target location is in the same color area as the entity that's trying to run there. If it is not, the pathfinder doesn't even run at all, saving your CPU a ton of time and making your game much less laggy. In this example, I'm dropping more logs, but the pathfinder isn't even running at all. When the terrain is deformed or when we build ladders, the coloring is updated. Though this update can still happen quite often, it only happens once per deformation instead of once per deformation for every hearthling and monster and pet with a pathfinder. In short, less random and horrible stuttering in situations where objects are inaccessible and in builds with lots of complex buildings. And that's it for this week! Advanced warning, the team is taking several work-related trips this month, which means that our Desktop Tuesday schedule will be interrupted for a while. Expect us to return on March 21st. Our stream schedule is a bit easier to maintain. We will have regular Thursday streams on February 23rd, March 2nd, and March 16th. On the plus side, one of our trips will be to PAX East, so if you find yourself in the Boston area from March 10th to March 12th, come look us up in the Exhibitors Hall. In the meantime, see you again in March.